WQFM gets support from Al Fresco's recording studio located in the Highlands. Providing recording, mixing, and mastering featuring IZ Radar Studio technology for bands of all genres. sounds like you just heard it alfresco's place recording studio for more information call 459-4362 or visit alfrescorecording.com and also from the george brothers guitars 2019 frankfurt avenue selling boutique import and made in usa guitars and accessories more information is available at the guitars.com <laughs> Coming to you live from the studios of 100.9 FM, WCHQ, and WCHQFM.com, this is In the Studio with your host, Gavin Castor. Welcome, WCHQ listeners. This is uh, WCHQ broadcasting on uh, 100.9 FM, streaming online with our WCHQ app and our website, WCHQFM.com. Uh, this is in the studio with Gavin Castor. I am ha- I am not Gavin Castor. I am Jonathan Cowherd sitting in for Gavin. Uh, please send Gavin uh, some good vibes as he's uh, resting and healing, and we hope to be back here in the, on the show soon. Uh, tonight we have Della Fay in the studio. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Um, please introduce yourselves and uh, tell us a little bit about you, where you're from, that sort of thing. You go first. <laughs> well, I'm Jeremy. I play keys. I'm Andrew's cousin. So that's how I got in the band. So I kind of got lucky for that. I don't know if he's lucky. <laughs> you want to introduce um, yourself? My name is Kendrick. I'm in the... Uh, my name is Kendrick. I'm in the... Oh. <laughs> my name is Kendrick. I'm in the uh, <laughs> Delafay, and I play drums. And I've been knowing drums. I've been knowing Andrew for quite some time, so... Okay. And then Since first grade. <laughs> wow. That's really awesome. long time. That's awesome. And uh, my name's Andrew, and uh, I'm from Louisville. Oh, great. Started this thing. Yeah, so the, there's that uh, six degrees from everybody, you know, what, like, uh, if you're from Louisville, it's like, where'd you go to high school, where'd you go to the elementary school, so it's like, everybody's connected. Yeah, we're all close. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, get started off. What, you gonna, uh, what song are you guys going to start us off with? What song you want to start out on? New song. New song. song. We yeah. just wrote this song. We'll start it on that. Oh, great. So uh, this is Dela Fay in the studio. It's with Gavin Castor on WCHQ 100.9 FM. This one's called 12. <laughs> Well, it just seems well in this county jail Waiting for my bell to come It's been 12 long years Caught me in San Jose with a pistol in my grip Me and my girl on the run Robin Banks for kids I clear my throat Kicked in the door It was the cavalry that don't County jail Waiting for my bell to come It's been 12 long years Call me at yeah, San Jose With a pistol in my grill Me and my girl on the run Robbing banks for kids Yeah, 
my throat Kicked in the door It was the cavalry at dawn I clear my throat Kicked in the door It was the cavalry at dawn You've been listening to Della Fay in the studio with Gavin Castor, WCHQ 100.9 FM. Wow, that is that's a monster of a song. Thank you. Yeah, twelve is twelve, and that's uh, is that off of uh, a recent album? That's a that's a new song. Um, I think maybe I wrote it two weeks ago. Oh wow! And yes. uh, I just tired of writing songs. I just wanted something chill and fun and different. I usually write about girls or whatever <laughs> like that's actually going on in my life and i was like i want something that's just kind of out there yeah a song about robbing a bank well i was like <laughs> <laughs> some fun yeah um you guys want to do another one for us real quick um yeah what do you want to do tom you shook me mm-hmm. all right okay let me this, tune up this G no worries while you're doing that i'll go ahead and uh, and, uh say uh this is Della Bay in the studio uh with gavin castor WCHQ 100.9 and uh, we are We're ready to rock. Ready to rock. Thank you.
wonderful work there, guys. Uh, you've been listening to Della Fay, my in the studio with Gavin Caster, uh, WCHQ 100.9 FM. I am Jonathan Kelherd, uh, and I've, uh, I am really blown away by that. That's beautiful sound. Thank uh, you. I mean, I, the, the keyboards and guitar really work together. Uh, I appreciate yeah. it. Here. <laughs> and, you know, of course, the drums are good, too. But um, let's, let's kind of get back uh, to find out a little more about you all. Uh, so, uh, like, how long have you been together, and, uh, like, how did, how did everything get started for you? How did everything get started? Um, it all got started when I lived right up the street on the hilltop, and um, I just put together, like, a little EP and um, recorded everything at home in an apartment on my phone, and uh, I put it out, I think, on SoundCloud, and a guy that lives in London named Danny had found it, and he wrote me... And I ignored him for months. And then one day I was like, it, he wrote me, I think, a couple more times. And I was like, this is fake. He was saying, you know, I want to sign you. I like this song, um, Time and Money or whatever. I'm like, it's fake. Because I didn't think anybody liked it. And uh, so I was like, I was bored at work. I was on my lunch break. I was like, well, I'll entertain it. And then we started talking. He's a really nice guy. And it actually worked out. And we've had a lot of fun. And um, I think he got it on um, WFEK. Uh, WFPK, I, I got a band together through my cousin. He had hit me up, and he had some friends, and we all got together. And I think right when we started playing music together, WFPK said, oh, we got a show at Headliners for San Fermin. Oh, wow. A and uh, we had a week to learn all the songs I wrote, which luckily they're pretty easy. Um, but we all learned them, and uh, we went up there, and that was our first show together. I think that was June of 2016. Wow. Yeah, 2016, like 2017. 2016, I don't know. It's been two years, I think, yeah. maybe. But that's 2017. A, it's been 2017. That's a great, uh, amazing first show, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to play headliners. Oh, wow. it, was, it was so crazy, because I'd never played any shows yeah, in I my mean, entire life. Well, I think yeah. maybe like an um, open mic yeah, once or twice, and then get up there, and there's 400 people, or however many was there, and it's like, oh, right. crazy. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I know that a lot of bands would kill to have a, a show like that for oh, their first yeah. show. I mean, that's amazing. Well, you do that, and you're like, oh, great <laughs> and then it's like you book another show and there's five people there oh, <laughs> this is what it's really like well which is terrible <laughs> yeah and and w what a great way to get started just a little bit of technology and you know getting you know all these free resources to get and get your your music out you know yeah, then, exactly uh, exactly yeah and then there's somebody out from across the you know almost on the other side of the world just like hey i like that yeah wow that's that's amazing it's insane yeah it's crazy um, have you guys done much touring too uh, since 2016? Um, no, we only play here really. Um, okay. I think last week. Yeah, I had a. We played in Columbus, Ohio, at the Shrunken awesome. Head for okay. a show out of state. Uh, yeah. Okay. And that was phenomenal. Yeah. It was a super great, great place, and yeah. we loved it. And I wanted to tour forever until I heard him snore. And we had to share <laughs> him, and I'm like, I don't know, man. Right. We're just gonna stay in Louisville. But yeah. We have fun doing it. So. Yeah, and Columbus is a great little town i mean it's not too far away uh, mm -hmm. a lot of great venues up there yeah they, they really seem to support musicians up there too yeah they yeah. do i mean it was like and i love louisville i love it i'll always yeah. support it and um being up there though everybody just stand, nobody left the room yeah nobody was talking yeah. and it was crowded and it was phenomenal it was, maybe it's just that place i don't know maybe the place is crowded yeah it was great well that's awesome um so um you guys want to Get, you got another one for us that uh, I'll queue up here? Yeah. yeah. What do you want to do next? Maybe. I can't see it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Megan. Megan, you cool. Get no, that. Okay. Alright, here's this sad song. This is uh, Della Fay in the studio with Gavin Caster on WCHQ 100.9 FM. <laughs> My mind seems empty I don't know what I'm thinking Anymore Well, I've been limping Around this old empty town Thinking of you And my lady, she's leaving Says it's good for my soul to break away. Blow my 
my clothes Snow fell like a brick I got stuck Freezing cold Taking a bed and I smell like an ashtray All burnt up Cigarette playground Pour me a cup I will This, uh, you've been listening to Dilla Faye on In the Studio with Gavin Castor. I'm Jonathan Cowherd sitting in for Gavin Castor on WCHQ 100.9 FM. Um, wow, that is that is such a smooth and rich sound there. Um, Thank you. Yeah, so like, I, how, like, who are your influences? Because I'm hearing, <laughs> you know, I'm hearing a little of Jimi Hendrix. I'm lo- hearing some, you know... Um, like real old school bluesy, you know, maybe a little Clapton. Like who, who'd you start up listening to and playing? Um, I think you hit the hammer on the head. I mean, I listened to Dylan growing up, yeah. Hendrix. Yeah. Always Hendrix is my favorite guitar player. Oh yeah, yeah. You never match that. I don't yeah. know what I'm doing. I'm just, well, it's, you know, it's working. Hope it, for sure. hope it works. Oh um, yeah, yeah. A little bit of everything. Sixties and seventies is my favorite, but I love today's music too. Some of it. So. Yeah, and um, now how would you describe that? The sound because you know you got your keyboard in there too with bringing a little chorus and <clears throat> you know I mean you you wouldn't consider yourself you know like a blues rock group you know it seems like you're l- a little bit more than that would you? Um, I don't know, I don't know. You know everybody yeah. asks you, you don't know. I think um, a lot of it's very folky yeah. um, in a sense. We at one point called it acid folk <laughs> <laughs> because some of the songs are trippy, but right. you know with folky lyrics and right. I don't know. Just whatever, yeah. whatever comes out. I yeah. don't know. I'm not trying to like do anything in particular, but okay, yeah. Um, Folk, I just break it down to chill. No, I mean chill music, definitely. And and you and you you write from um, such a personal perspective. You know, um, it seems like you know, like you know. Oh yeah, I've I've had that that kind of moment. You know, mm-hmm. I've had that kind of relationship. You know, that's something similar is happening exactly. to me, kind of thing. Yeah, I think that's yeah. where the best songs come from. Is when you have. A relationship yeah. to build off of, like something that actually happened to you, right. you know, a feeling. Right. But you know, it keeps it, it keeps it a little raw, you know. But yeah, you know, I think a lot of people appreciate that. You yeah. Know. It seems like there's a, a new trend in uh, kind of getting getting back to real real emotions, real thoughts and feelings in music. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, that's the whole thing. I think growing up, what draws you to a song is 
it could be one line, but as long as that one line is, you know, strong enough to make you feel something, then right. you love the rest of the song around it. Right. So, I don't know, I'm not the greatest songwriter, but I try to say something real in some of them, you know, something's, yeah. something's there. Yeah. Man, so, um, let's see, um, no, I been rolling through the, uh, these songs pretty quickly. I you guys you guys ready to step into another one, or you wanna maybe um, kind of talk about you know other upcoming um, events <coughs> and projects? Yeah, we can talk about um, upcoming. I'm I'm currently recording an album, so that's in the works. Um, I know I have I've been putting it off since last year. Mm -hmm. I put out a lot, a few singles, and I do everything myself um, with these guys too. Um, yeah, but um, we all, you know, it's all recorded in the basement. We live together. He basically lives there, and we're always down there just messing around, recording, right. just making sounds. And um, that's supposed to be turned in on June fifteenth. And then how long that process goes with, you know, distributing it, getting it out there, and everything. I'm not sure. But by the end of the year, we'll have an album out. Um, we have a couple shows at Odeon, two shows in Odeon in May. Um, we have a Zanzibar show in June. Um, and probably a couple, you know, if you follow us at Delafay Music on Instagram, uh, Delafay on Facebook, um, you can keep up with some of the smaller shows that are coming up around town, stuff like that. So. Okay. Yeah, so all the major platforms, <coughs> Facebook, yep. Instagram. We're on everything. SoundCloud, and that sort of thing. Yeah, we're on SoundCloud. All of it. Spotify, now iTunes. I've, I've got to ask you about the name Delafay. Like what's the what's the background <laughs> of that? Because I was I was doing a little research and I was like, oh, something from France. So, no, but it's no, kind of Spanish. And kind of sounds like <laughs> Delafay. Yeah. Um, let's see. We have so Delafay came from me and him, Kendrick, um, driving around one night, and it's before like we would just jam together all the time. We didn't even think to be in bands. Like I never thought I was gonna do this. I didn't think anybody would like it. Um, but we were just playing. We was like, we should make a band there. So we were driving around, and you know, like. It's so hard to come up with something that's just not cheesy or yeah. just terrible. Which right. Delafay might be cheesy and terrible, but to me it's like, oh, it's smooth. It's got a nice ring. But um, we were just driving around and like looking at street signs mm -hmm. in his neighborhood. And then I think, I don't think it's the street he lived on, but it's like the one right next to it. And we were like, oh, I was like, Delafay, that's cool. Nice. And we had another one, I don't remember it, but by the time we got back to the house, I was like, what was it called again? He's like, I think it was Delafay. So I just spelled it however I thought it was, right. and we made it like SoundCloud right then, I think. And then I tried to find it like maybe a month ago, and there's no Delafay Street. But there is, but it's not spelled like how we do it. Gotcha. There's no E on the end, which might have been way cooler. And I think there's two <laughs> L's, which makes Della make sense. Oh. But I was probably inebriated. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. But that's how we came up with it. Huh? Well, that's great. Um, so what are you going to do for us next? Um, what we got next? We got... I can't see. I took my glasses off. We got, got <laughs> Haley, Rain, Time and Money. Let's do Time and Money. Let's see where it goes. Let's see that. You are listening to uh, Della Faye on In the Studios with Gavin Castor, WCHQ 100.5 after M. <laughs> Thank you. 
me Time and money is the real been listening to Della Fay on In the Studio with Gavin Castor. I am Jonathan Kelherd sitting in for Gavin and you just heard Time and Money. Um, there's a video, uh, I guess a YouTube video um, that was uh, posted uh, showing uh, what that song by somebody uh, named I want to initially say it's spelled Ape Iron, but I think it's Imperion. Imperion? Imperion. Maybe. Yeah. Uh-huh. I stumbled over trying to pronounce that uh, a few <laughs> times. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, and um, but it's gotten so many um, views. It's got such a huge following. You know, how's that? Uh, how's that uh, changed things for you guys? Um, how's that helped? Just made us feel cooler. <laughs> we didn't do a lot. <laughs> um, it was kind of mind blowing. I don't. I'm not sure the guy's name who runs it's a YouTube page, and he picked up the song. Um, somehow, just randomly. You know, he did it, and I think it got to, like, 50,000, and then just, like, this year, somehow, like, it got traction, and I think we're about to push 2 million on it, wow. which is crazy, but... Wow. Great. The congratulations on Thank that. Thank you. It is it is mind-blowing. It's cool to get to say it, but we don't get paid from it or anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would like to think, well, not yet. Maybe eventually <laughs> the, ro- uh, the royalty checks will start coming one in. One day. No, it's cool. I mean, Spotify and everything, it's on there, and it's... It's doing good. I think he runs his own page, and I'm just happy to get the traction and like the people that get to see it on that page. So it's been great. Well, that's awesome. Um, and then um, you guys have a, uh, you know, I guess playing Odeon. I mean, that's that's not that small of a venue. They there's a lot of big names that uh, have been going there. You know, Ben Lee and a few other big name artists are are getting shows there. You know, have, have you played there before? Or is we did. They reached out to us. Month ago, so. month about well, they reached out maybe two months ago, mm-hmm. and they got us a show there, um, and we booked it with Brooks Ritter and Darlington Paris. Wow, um, which we were great that they even reached out and was like, "Do you guys want a show?" Yeah. So we played it once. It's a great venue. It sounds great. Um, Darlington Paris have played here. They're amazing. Yeah, I don't absolutely. know if you've heard them, but they're mind blowing good. And so is Brooks Ritter. Super yeah. good. Yeah, Brooks Ritter. And then you know you yeah. let those guys open. Like they play first, and then you go and you're like, oh. <laughs> Hard follow. No, they're great. I love yeah. Louisville. We got some great musicians here. Well, you guys are great too. I mean, you you fit in right with that crowd, and uh, well, you know, I like to think so. so but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I love being here. I love everything about it. So yeah, and you got Thank a you. show coming up at Zanzibar too. And Zanzibar, I mean, that's their pretty good space too. I've, I've seen oh, some, we love Zanzibar. Yeah. Good food too. Mm-hmm. Good food yeah, and um, and drink. And some big names have played there, and, yep. and yeah, you guys are you guys are up and coming. We're having yeah. fun. Yeah. That's all that matters. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, 
Let's see. So you guys have been, I guess you've been signed. Are you, are you just releasing singles? Are you doing, like, uh, you know, a couple songs? And then I guess this will be your first. You said you had an EP out. Um, and this will be your first full album coming up in, in July? Yeah, so this will be, so basically the first album was The Hilltop, which is Frankfurt Avenue, right where you guys are. Yeah. Um, second, or not album, EP, I'm sorry. And then I did another one um, called Highlands. The Highlands down the street. I was trying to keep everything Louisville. Yeah, Louisville. that's awesome. And um, so I did that. And then we did an Acid Tongue EP, which was kind of just a couple of the singles that are going to be on the album. We're kind of testing them out. So there's three. Um, and I think there's also a little acoustic EP out there. So I've been, you know, putting music out there. Yeah. But I'm really, you know, the, the album to me is what's most important. And I'm working hard on that. And um, the first few EPs and everything, I did all the instruments and everything myself. Um, on this album... A lot of it's that way, but a lot of it, all the keys are going to be germ, and it's going to be some songs with the actual, you know, full band in it for the first time. Okay. So that's pretty exciting. So full band, so there's the three of you here tonight. So you got you, got you, you got your keys, you got your drum. Like, who's missing? Oh, we're missing Steve. Steve. <laughs> Steve, where are you? Oh, no, he, he's he got like 25 bands. Um, yeah. <laughs> and he was so busy um, when I asked him to play, I didn't think he would join in Adela Fay again because um, he has so many bands country bands rock bands heavy metal bands all the uh, stuff going on and yeah. he had already had a previous show booked and he was going to try to make it but right. I won't say where he's at but he's having a good time <laughs> he's having a great time <laughs> well, we miss you Steve and uh, you know and well you guys are, you guys have such a good sound I mean I, I love your bluesy sound that you have thank you I and, appreciate it and um, you know it's, it's really refreshing you know I'm definitely looking forward to catching hearing you guys out well thank you i'd love to have you i'll buy a drink no i appreciate it come on out sometime man <laughs> thank Whatever. you very much yeah thank um, you um and you know, i'll ask you about just one other thing before we go to the next song um you know i, I saw that you had one video uh where you're, you're at air devil's inn mm -hmm. you know and i think you were playing maybe it was shook i can't remember which song it was but uh, you know, it was a great shot, you know, because you're, you're seeing the back of the wall. It's like, oh, yeah, that's Air Devils. You know? Oh, yeah, that's and, my uncle's bar. Oh, really? Yeah. That's awesome. It's so great. in the family. Great space, you know. Yeah. Like Air Devils. Uh, so many famous people have played there. So Yeah, know. and that's an old blues bar. I know there's a lot of roots there. Yeah. And they're trying to bring that back. They're trying to get bands back in there. and Yeah. Which they, I think they've done a pretty good job at. I'd like to see it grow. I think it's such a cool little spot. Yeah, I mean, I've been, uh, I mean, with Air Devils, I've, I've seen so many great, you know, Steve Ferguson and uh, some really old <clears throat> school Louisville cats. You know, Crackle, yeah. Tim Crackle used to play there. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Th there's, you know, it's such a famous spot. Like, you can't be from Louisville and mention Air Devils and not, people not know about it. So Yeah, exactly. I think one of those guys from TV, um, Norton, at some, one of the guys from uh, Walking Dead or something is coming up there. He has his own oh, show. Wow. Oh, wow. So I think it's a motorcycle show or something, and they nice. need people, so... Oh, nice. <laughs> you might want, I'm going to try to go up there and show my face. I'm gonna have to, I have to look that up on Facebook. And I can't remember his name. It's the guy with the bow and arrow. Oh, okay. Whatever one that one is. He's going to be up there, and they're going to film a show around it. Oh, that's or great. Maybe that's a stop. I don't know what the thing is, but yeah, it'll be cool. So what do you guys have uh, coming up for us next? <clears throat> uh, I'm blind. I don't know. What we playing? <laughs> we got Haley. We'll probably put these things back in. Let's do Haley. Let's see if we don't mess this one up. We're, it's really based... We laid it on the base. Okay. Uh, so, so the reason that if we do mess up, this is all Steve's fault. <laughs> yeah. I, I, not, not that we would know, but, I mean, it sounds good. I mean, even... If anything bad happens, you know. it's Steve's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Always blame Steve. All right. So this one's called Haley, I'm Leaving You. Uh, this is Della Fay on In The Studios with Gavin Castor, WCHQ 100.9 FM. <laughs> I'm leaving. 
leaving you for good This time for good I know I broke your heart I'll never do it again I know I broke your heart Never do it again. Oh, Haley, I'm leaving you. Never had plans for you. Never had plans for. Us. Listening to Della Fay on In the Studio with Gavin Castor. Uh, this is on WCHQ 100.9 FM. I am Jonathan Cowherd sitting in for Gavin tonight. Um, really nice work, guys. That's a beautiful song. Thank you. Is this one of those songs where this is about a real person, but you had to change the names to protect the innocent? or does I didn't change the name. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, has, has Haley heard this song before? Look. <laughs> <laughs> This is a while ago. Okay. She lived across the water over there, mm-hmm. Indiana. Um, sweetest, super sweet lady. I think she's married now and everything. So that's how long ago it was. I see. But I was uh, I didn't date her, and I liked her a lot, and I knew it wouldn't go anywhere. And I was just, it's how I write, is I'll just kind of blurt out words. Mm-hmm. And I knew that it wasn't going anywhere, and those kind of came out, and I was like, I like it. So I kept it, and then I told her, I was like, hmm, so you might hear the song. <laughs> I wrote it before I ever met you. <laughs> a lot. But <laughs> I don't know. I don't I think we broke up before she even had a chance. And if she did hear it, we haven't talked. <laughs> well, I hope the marriage is great. Yeah. I hope everything's good. Yeah. So okay. ho- hopefully you don't get any uh hate mails or No, no, it was all yeah. good. It was all no. Yeah. A nice note. So so goes life. You know, yeah. Make, make ups, break ups. Yeah. What's you got a song? Yeah, it's a great pretty song. cool. I wish somebody said, Andrew, I'm leaving you and wrote a song. She's just yeah. like, get out of here. <laughs> Man, um, any, let's see, in, uh, um, and it seems like there, you, uh, there's other people, like, in your songs. Ha- has anybody ever come back and said, hey, you know, I don't like what you said about me in that song. <laughs> you know, I know that's something about me, you know. Um, any, anything like that? I think they're usually happy about it. Yeah. My friend has some stuff that's in the songs. I don't say his name. but some, I don't think we're playing that song tonight. And I don't think I'm even allowed to talk about it, but. There's some things in the song, and he's like, oh. He's so stoked that it's about him, but yeah. nobody knows it's about him. Right. But, yeah, some people have come forward and said, what's that about? <laughs> Sometimes I don't tell them the truth. Like, it's not about you, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. Man, uh, yeah, just, uh, thank you guys for coming in on such a cold night. You know? Oh, thank you. We're happy yeah. to be here. Absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, and did you guys play Poor Castle last year? or was We did. did. I hear? 
Yeah. We did play Forecastle last year. Yeah, it's, it was. Uh, it seemed like everything worked out pretty well. Like, that was great. It's getting well. bigger and bigger. Um, are you guys planning to play it uh, again this coming year, or do you guys do you know um, yet? I'd like to. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think the um, lineup came out yet. Yeah, I think we're. I but think it, they're t- <coughs> taking applications or something. I mean, we put in an application. Good. So hopefully yeah. they they might be like, oh, no, we don't want those guys <laughs> again. They're wild. No, nah, if no. they say that, then they're they're you know they're making a big <laughs> mistake. You know. Well, thank you. Yeah, and um, let's see what else. Uh, and I, you know, I I, I know um, there's Seven Cents uh, Festival coming up. And have, have you guys played any, any any of those other festivals too? Or besides, we did Seven Cents. Yeah, last we did year. Seven Cents last year. Okay, that was, awesome. yeah. that was really cool too. Yeah, at Gravely. Is that how you say it? Gravely? Yeah, Gravely. Yeah, really they, cool. I they, love that place. They just moved it over there. I, it's like uh, in the year before they had it at the Swiss Hall in Germantown. And oh, okay. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I actually haven't been to Gravely, Gravely yet. And we uh, should go this year if it's there. It was really cool. It was awesome. really nice. Yeah. It was awesome. a good layout. Yeah. Tons of good drinks. Yeah. Good people. Yeah. Good stage. Three yeah. stages, I think. Maybe three mm-hmm. or four stages. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we'll get on a bigger stage this year. Hopefully. Okay. It was cool. I loved it. Great. I will definitely keep that in uh, on the lookout, and then I'll look for you guys uh, if you guys get to play that also. Well, we'll be there either way. Well, I'll around. Then I'll, hopefully I'll see you there. <laughs> we'll see you there. <laughs> yeah. Um, Let's see, do you guys, uh, you know, we're about uh, two, three quarters through the show. Uh, you guys have uh, a few more to, did you want to? Yeah, we'll keep on playing until you make a stop. No, oh, no, we wouldn't make you we'll stop. We'll run out of songs, we'll just make them up. Yeah. <laughs> right, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> we're good at that. There might be better. Oh, man. Oh, um, so what do you have for us next? What we got next? Dreamers, Rain of Dreamers. Uh, we got Rain. Rain of Dreamers. Hmm. You choose Rain of Dreamers. Let's go with Let's rain. Make one rain. All right, we'll do yeah. rain. Bad choice. No. <laughs> <laughs> You've been listening to Della Fay on In the Studio with Gavin Caster on WCHQ 100.9 FM. <laughs>
was Della Fay on In the Studio with Gavin Caster, WCHQ 100.9 FM. Very nice work. Thank guys. you. Yeah. Uh, man, you, I, just, I just love the, the sound that's coming out of your the guitar. and, and, the, and the, It's such an easy, you know, like, restful... You yeah. know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Like it's, it's, it's I, I like that down tempo. That's all I listen thing. to. Everybody's like, "Why don't you play some fast?" I don't know. I'm playing fast, <laughs> right? I can't do it. That's all I got. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's it's really nice. And then you know, and the, you know, you don't hear a lot of the bands. Too many other bands like you know, kind of coming with anything slow, and you know, it's it's relaxing and. Uh, I appreciate contra- it. Contemplative, I think, is might well, be a good. Idea. We're working on a punk version of Delafay too. Y'all we'll <laughs> <laughs> you know, think I'm joking? We're pretty good at it. We might be better punk. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're trying to speed up a few songs, but not here. It's too yeah. chill. No bass. Yeah. I'm just gonna sit back and relax. We've all. It's nice. I like the environment in here. Mm-hmm. So do you guys? Um, so do like, um, like do you have a lot of throwaway songs? Do you kind of like write a bunch of stuff and they're like ah uh, you know pull things out later put things away that kind of thing kind of um i do most of my writing while i record or like you know let things flow so if something comes out that i don't like i don't spend a lot of time on it yeah, so yeah. if there's like a you know a piece that i like then i'll come back and what i'll do a lot of times is sit a phone in front of me or something and let out my feelings or whatever's going on in my head and go back over those lyrics and piece together things I like, add to them, kind of work like that. So I don't have a lot of throwaway because I just don't spend a lot of time on something I don't like, well, that's which I probably should, but I don't. Um, well, that's great, <laughs> you know. It's like a, it's like um, instead of seeing a therapist, I just sit in front of a microphone all day. There you go. And it, it works out, oh, yeah. kind of. Yeah, it, it definitely, you can hear it, you can hear it in the, in the, it's that, that kind of purging yeah, you know, and the lyrics, you know. Yeah, and then I'm happy all day, and then I go and do this, and they're like, "Andrew said I'm not sad. <laughs> I'm the happiest dude you've ever met in your entire life. <laughs> this is just me letting it out." Right. But yeah, it's my favorite thing to do. Well, that's great, and and you're you're great at it. I mean, you guys sound amazing. I uh, appreciate it. You. Thank you. you know, so I I'm yeah I I, I foresee big things happening and uh, big opportunities coming to you guys and. Um, I'm really excited about Louisville music and what you guys are bringing to the table with that. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. We're excited about Louisville music, too. Yeah. I love love this radio station. I love all the bands. I'll say it over and over again. So thank you so much. Absolutely. We're we're glad to have you here. And um, uh, we got, uh, what do you have next for us? Sitting on Dreamers. We're going to do Dreamers. We're going to try this one. All right. So you guys have been listening to De La Fayon in the studio with Gavin Caster. I'm Jonathan Cowherd sitting in for Gavin. Uh, we are broadcasting on our WCHQ FM um, app and also on, on our website. Um, but you can also catch us over the waves with WCHQ 100.9 FM. And again, thanks again, fellas. Uh, we have uh, De La Fay. And um, what's the name of this next song again? Dreamers. Dreamers. Y'all ready? Like you, 
stuff Summertime is so divine and Drink it down, you're the finest wine The hourglass comes quicker as we age Will I like to thank you like me? Is it comedy the best? We're thinking people need a job and dreamers have no chance. Well, I'm a dreamer, babe, and I don't stand a chance. Well, I'm a dreamer, babe, and I don't stand a chance. I've been listening to Della Fay on in the studio with Gavin Castor. That song was Dreamers. It's Dreamers, yeah. Yeah, great, great work. Thank you. I mean, yeah, I'm I'm excited to hear you guys guys out, uh, you know, at Odeon, and uh, a couple times in in May, and then I guess you got your next show, uh, another show you have at Santa Bar coming up. I think we have a show. I forgot about it. Um, Saturday at the Paddocks. Ah. It's a cool little place. Okay. Um, with Blind Feline. I'm okay. not sure who else is on the bill. Okay. Um, so this Saturday, if anybody's free, come on out. Yes, there was what time? Did, roughly what time does that start? Um, I'd say doors eight thirty. We'll probably play around nine thirty ten. Okay. Somewhere around then. Great. <clears throat> um, yeah, I was maybe try to make that too. Um, and let's do a little, just a little uh, recap here. Would you guys reintroduce yourselves, and then yeah. we'll, uh, you know, find out where you get your music, and then. Uh, you guys can take us out you know, with one last song. One last song? Yeah. <laughs> so. They told us five. We all didn't. Right. <laughs> we weren't ready for this. Right. <laughs> we should be. Um, so, again, I'm Andrew. Um, I'm Jeremy on keys. I'm Jeremy. And I'm uh, Kendrick on drums. All right. And, um, and then uh, where can we find your music? Spotify? Spotify. De La Fay. De La Fay uh, on Spotify. Uh, iTunes free on youtube instagram uh, and instagram yeah follow us facebook. on instagram delafay music and facebook all of it yeah i think we're on pretty much everything except yeah. for the weird stuff that some people do <laughs> but other than that we're on there excellent and then um what is this last song that you guys are oh let's see i don't Thank know you. uh I know you're sorry. We'll try yeah, it. that would be the one I would try to go with. This one's dangerous. Yeah. Oh man, is, is it some kind of mashup? This is a gamble here. Uh, it's a little R&B. It's just hard to sing. <laughs> anybody gonna start rapping? I can if you want. We'll save it for a while, show. Man. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, this guitar sucks. It looks cool. It looks like a beautiful guitar. Um, it's hot and cold, man. I should have used the strap. All right, let's see. Um. Sorry for that. No, that you're good. Idea. You All right, are um, good. So this one's called I, I Know You're Sorry. All right. So is no bad words in the song? No. Okay. I don't think so. Yeah. So uh, I Know You're Sorry. And, and that's, and that's going to be on this upcoming album, too? Um, I think so. Okay. I'm still picking and choosing, but yeah. we'd like to play it. We're yeah. going to give it a shot. The chorus is hard. I need a... I need somebody else to sing it, but. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have been listening to De La Fay on In the Studio with Gavin Castor on WCHQ 100.9 FM. I'm John the Cowherd. I've been sitting in with De La Fay, uh, subbing for Gavin. Uh, Gavin Hill up quickly. Well, we miss you and uh, look forward to hearing you back. Uh, this last song, uh, it, uh, well, they'll take us out with. And uh, thanks again. Thank guys. you. This Thank you been, so much. This has been great. Yeah, it has been. And we uh, appreciate it. Great, you know, many, many success to you all. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. You ready? <laughs> Let's 
thought I'd hear from was you. Said you can't talk to me no more. Well, I don't blame you. Well, I do the same. When poison's in your vein, gotta get rid of it. Was in here. Listening to WCHQLP, Louisville, Kentucky, 100.9 FM. All local, all community, all the time. WCHQFM gets support from Alfresco's recording studio located in the Highlands. Providing recording, mixing, and mastering featuring IZ Radar Studio technology for bands of all genres. sounds like you just heard it alfresco's place recording studio for more information call 459-4362 or visit alfrescorecording.com and also from the george brothers guitars 2019 frankfurt avenue selling boutique import and made in usa guitars and accessories more information is available at the george bros guitars.com